All right, uh, today I wanted to make a short little video on the preview six of Unreal 4 26 uh, and just come out and say that they finally fixed the caustics or at least updated them where they're not going to air out so we can actually preview them here. Uh, I don't know if this is the full system that will be coming or if this is just what they've gotten working yet, but I did want to share that. Uh, so besides that feature, I also wanted to show it. It does seem like uh, this is still a work in progress. Some of these maps aren't completely done for the water content under them but what i wanted to show is like this seems a little more reliable i don't know if this is just overall all the engine previews together since i last looked at the water or just now with this one that it's been fixed but i wanted to show that so at least this is somewhat more reliable if you're planning on using this or something uh, it had been definitely a little buggy, and it seems a little usable now. Now, uh, I did see some questions of people asking how to get rid of, like, this foam that is on here. Because, honestly, the default settings, I agree, kind of, like, this is silly looking. All you gotta do is, it's just like a normal mesh at the end of the day, where you just have to either select it, sometimes you might have to hit T. Uh, and inside, though, you're gonna, under rendering, see water material. We're just gonna select that water material. And then, it's gonna visually look terrible. I would pin your window. And then you're just going to come in here and you can actually see a lot of the defaults for the water that they've already set up because it's just the material that they have is it's just these foam settings of foam scale if you want to set the scaling. But then there's really overall just search foam and you're going to see all the foam settings, right? Uh, and what it is is just foam by default has an opacity of, of 1. We can set it to zero if we don't want any foam. Uh, I also recommend setting the emissive to zero as well. I don't know if it's in this version, but the previous versions that did have some effect. But then if you do want the foam, right, try to find some. Oh, that might just be on. There might not be any foam on there. We would just set the scale to be slightly different. So let's select this one. This is the lake. In fact, this is specifically the lake uh, to river. There we go. River to lake transition. So they have all these presets, uh, and you just need to change it, like anything. Um, so if we wanted to remove that, foam opacity, oh, there we go, set that to zero. Or if we want to change how it actually looks, we just set that scale to be higher, lower. Uh, we can affect other things as well, uh, and as well as the bubbles. So we can just make it super bubbly if we wanted. We can do all sorts of all sorts of stuff. This is basically like where the, how they misspelled depth, unless they mean p peth, b peth. <laughs> I believe this is affected by the depth of the water. Uh, and then there's also some stuff to MIP based on the velocity. I haven't actually played with a lot of these settings. That's why I'm going, uh, you can kind of, it's, it's like normal settings, right? Something too crazy in here. Uh, but there you go. I wanted to show off a little how to use this. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. Uh, I'll keep on looking for new stuff that's been added in this preview. Uh, and if you're interested, you can either subscribe to me on here or check me out on Twitch where I stream live game dev using Unreal. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button and see you later in another video.